Okay, what we're going to discuss with you today is the battery charging circuit issues on the 20KW Res A generator. We've removed the battery panel housing. We've already installed our new battery. We've dated it so we know what uh, date we put it in for warranty purposes. The problem we were having here is on this generator you will notice that the battery is charging at 14.1 volts. So it shouldn't be. What's happening is it's overcharging the battery. So you get your controller to overview, you click the middle button, and then you scroll down, you will see the battery charging voltage is too high. We have our cord here to our computer site tech and you can see there that battery voltage is indeed 14.1 volts the issue with that is when these were first manufactured they were in, um, they were designed incorrectly and they didn't allow for the voltage to turn on and turn off thereby overcharging the battery Kohler's come out with a battery charging diode kit which is in a service bulletin it's a warranty part free of charge that should be installed on units with this voltage issue. The battery charging kit reduces the voltage from 14.1 to a range of 13.2 to 13.6, and the relay allows it to turn on and turn off based on the battery voltage, thereby saving the battery and not overcharging it. And if you've had a battery failure, or maybe two, the electrician or your service provider, or even you have said, well, the battery keeps going bad this is going to solve your problem so what we're going to do is we've already taken the two screws out of the controller we pull this controller out and we pull this cable out here now I'm not going to lose power because I have it plugged into the computer if you lose power you will have to set your time and date but I do recommend you get a Kohler certified technician to do this that way they can check your firmware at the same time because if you're doing the maintenance you're probably not updating the firmware either so what we do is we tuck this back in here nice and neat being careful not to catch the wires on any of the housing and then once it's put back in there put the two screws back in once you have the controller in you're going to notice it has an emergency stop shut down just click off and then click your auto now you're back in click your middle button gives you back to overview and then click down and you can go through your systems again but in overview you click the button again and then scroll down and you will see your battery voltage is now 13.4 volts over here on the computer you'll see 13.4 volts. So while we're here, we're gonna be doing the service on this. We will show you that also, the firmware on this is an older firmware at 6.07. We currently have 6.12, and we're gonna update that for you. So being that we have the computer here we will go up here we will click update firmware and then if you're doing this you have to know where you store your firmware and then we will update the latest and greatest firmware on this generator again if you're doing this on your own at home you probably aren't doing this these firmware updates are the latest and greatest for these generators. Tweaking, tweaking different issues, 
fixing on cue issues if you have an on cue issue and other little things that come out over the years just adjustments on the generator once you update your firmware you'll see that it's updated then you have to reset everything on your controller again date time exerciser and uh, other parameters we're going to update this and do the service but i hope that helps you with your battery charging issues